Hello, Angie here with Green Style, and today we're going to be making the corset bra. So I'm going to show you um, in this part of the video how to make the version with the shelf bra. So you're going to need um, the back cut. You're going to need one of the main fabric and one of your shelf bra fabric. You also need to have a front of the shelf bra in the shelf bra fabric. And then for the outer fabric, you need two cut as mirror images of the front middle, two of the um, front side cut as mirror images, one of the center front cut in the fold, and I think that's it. Um, you'll also need some elastic as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get started putting the pieces together. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is sew the center front to the front middle along that straight line. So with right sides together, open up that center front and stitch it to the front middle. Right along that front side. Be careful and make sure you do this with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. have a serger make sure you use a stretch stitch. and we're going to do the same for the other side And then um, if you want to top stitch, now's the time to top stitch. Just go down those center lines right there. However you want to top stitch it. Um, I'm going to use a reverse cover stitch on mine. So after you've sewn the two side pieces to the front, then or the middle front to the center front, you are going to sew the front side pieces, the little cut pieces, to the curved edges. So with the right sides together, you know it starts like this, so you can flip it so you'll know. You're going to sew around that curve to the bottom. Be really careful here not to stretch either of those two pieces. They should fit right in together. Just take care and stitch it as you go around. great now I'm going to top stitch that as well and I'm going to top stitch it with the seam allowance pushed 
out or up, it lays a lot flatter than if you try to push it down like that, if you lay it out to the front. All right, so after you have assembled the outer front, you're gonna find the back that's made with your, or cut out with your main fabric, and you're going to lay it across. You're gonna stitch across the shoulders at the top, only at this point. So only stitch across the shoulders, straight across. Now, if you find out that we're gonna stop at some point and test and make sure that we have the right shoulder length. Um, if you find that you need to shorten the shoulders a little bit, you can do that um, in one of the steps coming up soon. Um, you can shorten them easily. I mean, at this point, you've already cut it out, so you can't lengthen, but just lengthen or shorten at the top of the straps when, when you need to. inch seam allowance. All right, so the next step is to take your um, shelf bra fabric, which I happen to cut black. I apologize for that. And then you're going to put right sides together. That's the front. This is the back. With the right sides together, and you're gonna just stitch across the top of those shoulders as well. So just across the top of the shoulders. Once that is done, now we're gonna start the burrito roll and stitch up the neckline and then the side seams. So, lay it out on your workspace with the right sides up. I'm gonna lay the main piece down first so you can see it better. Lay it out with the correct sides up. And then take your liner, shelf bra or liner, and match up the front and the back and the shoulder seams. I like to press the seam allowance of one of them to one side and the seam allowance of the other to the other side. Um, okay. You're gonna sew all around that circle, the neckline circle. Make sure you don't stretch. I put my pins in backwards.
All right, so when you've got the neckline done, now we're gonna actually start the roll. So you're gonna take your piece, turn it so the right sides are out and the wrong sides are touching. Okay, so make sure that everything's turned right sides out and the wrong sides are touching. Then you're gonna start to roll that up. And then you're going to come and separate the top or outer layer from the bottom layer. And you're gonna roll it over to the other side. So I'm gonna do the same here and here. And I'm gonna roll it and put it over to the other side. So that matches with that arm side. And then this current strap is inside the other strap. So it might be kind of tight right here at the shoulder. You're gonna have a lot of, um, the strap is, is, the other strap is all pulled up inside of there. So just push it kind of out of the way and make sure that when you sew right here, you don't catch that. And then you should have plenty of room as you move around to this edge. Just like that up here. So now you're gonna sew this arm side. Again, it's good to make sure that you tuck that all the way up to the other side to keep it out of the way so you don't catch it. Okay, so once you've got that arm size sewn up, we're gonna reach through and pull it up. And actually, you know what, it's easier to get the back through to the front because it's a little less bulky. So I'm gonna pull that through that channel that we just created. Just like that. Oh, it's so pretty. Now you have a clean edge, both sides. So now we're just gonna repeat that for the other side. I'm just gonna start to roll it up. When I get to the end, I'm gonna separate the two layers and bring them together. And then we're gonna stitch that curve as well. Sure that's tucked in.
Reach through and pull that through. Just like that. So now you have both of the shoulder straps done and sewn up in a nice, smooth uh, manner. So now we're just gonna do the side seams. This is an easy part. So you've got the front and the back. You're gonna take the front and the back and match up the back to the back, up to that seam, and then to the, to the top of the other side, the main. So this is the shelf bra. We match up the seams here. And then up to the side seam here. And then on the other side as well. and then we'll sew our two side seams. It's almost done. It's pretty easy so far. Now we just need to measure out our elastic. I'm gonna pull this shelf bra out a little bit so I can get to it. We're gonna measure out our elastic that we need, try it on and make sure that it fits and then sew it into a circle and then put it in um, to the shelf bra along the edge. Okay, so I have cut, um, measured and cut my elastic and I've tried it around my rib cage and I feel good about it. So I'm gonna take over to my sewing machine. I'm gonna overlap it um, three quarters of an inch or whatever it is that you use when you measure or when you cut it and overlapped it. And that doesn't sound good. Then I'm gonna mark the halfway point with a pen. And I'm gonna mark halfway points here and there. So I'm gonna find the center front and the center back by lining up the side seams. Mark a little notch with my humongous scissors. And then I'm going to Line up where I marked the center front with the center front. And the center back with the center back. Mark that and pin it. And then I'm going to stitch this elastic directly to the fabric with my serger. If you don't have a serger, you can use a um, zigzag stitch right along the edge. All you're gonna do is stitch and stretch to fit as you go. If you're unsure about uh, your ability to do this and not cut the elastic, then I suggest you just disengage your cutting blade to do this. 
I've been doing this for a long time, so I'm pretty confident in it, but it's a good idea if you're just a little unsure to go ahead and just disengage that cutting blade. So I just get started a little bit and get a few stitches in there and then I find my center mark, I stretch it, then I grab that side with my fingers. This is how I avoid lots of pins. And then stretch and sew. favorite way to install elastic. Elastic does not roll on you when you do it this way. 